Okay, so let's start with your introduction. Now your introduction requires you to follow these basic steps. And for each of these steps, you need to write a new sentence. For every one of these steps you're about to see, what you need to do is if you're writing your essay as you're going along, you need to start a new sentence for all these points. The first one is you rewrite the question using keywords. So that point I mentioned before about keywords, you need to also make sure that you, you do that in the opening. And rewriting the question essentially means that you are writing it in a way that it's easy for you to then go further with it. You also need to include the name of a text and an author if you're writing about one. If you're not, then you need to just ignore that step. But if you are writing about a book, so for instance, if you're writing about Lord of the Flies, so that's one thing you need to have at the start, is you then write a one sentence answer. So I mentioned that word definition before, and that's what this bit is. You rewrite the question and then you give a very simple answer to that question in your introduction. All right, it's like a thesis statement. It, you might hear that word being used for it as well, but it's essentially, it's a definition. That's what it is. It's, it's you giving what you think the answer is in your own words. All right, and as I said, I'll give an example of this in a minute. You also, in your third step, need to list all the main points of your argument. So what all your ideas are, what all your paragraphs are gonna be about. We'll look at our example now. And we've got a question, are pigs able to fly? It's a bit of a silly question, but it's a question nonetheless. How do we answer this? How do we use our introduction to answer this question? To start with, we've got here our rewrite of the question. And you'll notice here that you've got those words highlighted. Now those words there are your keywords. So pigs and then unable, so we've used that keyword there of able, fly, okay? So they're all there. Yes, okay, this is a fairly simple question, but when you've got a more complicated question, when you've got lots of parts to it, you need to make sure that you can rewrite the question so it's much easier to write about it. You also then need to write your definition. They cannot fly because their bodies do not allow them to. So this here is our definition, which means our entire essay, our entire point will be on this argument because their bodies do not allow them to. So it's a simple one sentence answer. If you were to write it as a one sentence answer, you would say pigs are unable to fly, comma, because their bodies do not allow them to. All right, just makes it a nice clear opening and it makes it very, very clear from the beginning what you're talking about. Especially, as I said, if you've got something a little bit complicated and a little bit hard to explain. And finally, they are too heavy to float, they do not have wings or propellers, and they cannot control aircraft. These here are your main points or your argument. Each of these points here are going to be the start of a new paragraph. So they're going to start at the beginning of a new paragraph. So that is our introduction. It's only three sentences. It can be, as I said, a bit longer if you've got a more complicated question. But if you've got a very simple question like this one, then it only needs to be roughly about three sentences. All right, and it's just something as simple as that.